it's Miss Fitzpatrick and Auburn. Say hi, Auburn again. <laughs> I hope everybody had a really good day yesterday. Um, I'm so happy. So many of y'all watched my videos and answered my questions. Oh my gosh. Uh, I gotta think of something really cool to do for the kids that do answer all my questions. Or like, maybe we'll do something fun or I'll get you something fun. Hmm. Have to decide. Um, I miss y'all. I can't wait to see y'all. Um, hopefully we'll get to see each other on Tuesday. So only a few more days, guys. Only a few more days. Um, I'm going to try to read three more books today. Um, they'll be posted at different times. So just keep an eye out for my messages on Class Dojo or on Twitter. Um, but, so today Auburn picked it out. It is The Princess and the Pig. And what we're going to listen for in this is, I'm actually going to ask you two questions for this one. Um, I want you to tell me what the setting is. Remember, the setting isn't just where it takes place, it's also when it takes place. Okay? Um, tell me what the setting is, where and when. And um, I want you to tell me if you'd rather be the princess or the pig. Because everybody wants to be a princess, but... I don't think this princess wanted to be a princess. This is a pig. This is a princess. Okay, we're about to find out and read. Okay, so Auburn picked this one out. The princess and the pig. Not that long ago in a kingdom not far from here, a farmer was traveling home from the market with a cartload of straw. The farmer was so poor that he didn't have a horse, and he had to pull his own cart. In the back of the cart lay a tiny pink piglet. Nobody wanted to buy the, pink, the piglet at the market, but the farmer had taken pity on it. I'll call you Pigmella, he decided, as this seemed like a good name for a pig. Pigmella. Look at him pulling his own cart. You can see the pig kind of like... Hanging out back there. And there he is. There's Pigmella. He loves Pigmella. Look at how happy his face is. It was a hot day and the farmer stopped to rest in the shade of a great castle. Far, far above him on a high balcony, a queen was inspecting her new baby daughter. The queen was so rich that she had seven nannies and didn't have to look after her own kids. The queen picked up, picked the baby out of her cradle and held her at arm's length, like this, like you're holding a baby. I'll call you Priscilla, she decided, as this seems like a good name for a princess. This is, look how she's holding her baby. I'm scared. She's not holding her like I hold you or your sister. A moment later, a wet, sque squeaking noise came from the baby's diaper. Hmm, I wonder what that was. A wet noise. Closely followed by an awful smell. I think I know what happened. A <laughs> poop. <laughs> Yuck! Screamed the queen, dropping the baby and running off to find the royal nannies. She left so quickly that she didn't notice she had dropped the baby. Who drops the baby? Look at her face. She's like, oh, so disgusting. And then there's Priscilla following. You may see. You can see right here, Ops. And Priscilla fell over the edge of the balcony. Down, down, down went the baby into the farmer's cart. Hmm. I wonder who was in the farmer's cart, Audie? A baby. I know, but what was in the farmer's cart first? A pig. A pig. So, hmm, so there was two things in the farmer's cart. And then up, 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 flew the piglet into the princess cradle. So the baby fell in the cart. And the pig fell into the cradle, the baby's bed. Hmm. 
When the queen returned and found the piglet lying where the baby should have been, she let out an even louder scream and fainted into the nanny's arms. The king knew what had happened. A very bad fairy had done this, he explained. The fairy wasn't invited to the princess's party, so she turned the baby into a, the piglet to get her revenge. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. She's freaking out. She faints. And there's the king explaining what's going to happen. What happened. Because Mommy. he's pointing at a book. Mommy, look. And so, without a second thought, the baby became Pigmella, and the farmer's daughter. And the piglet became Priscilla, the royal princess. There's the princess outside with chickens. And you know how much Miss Fitzpatrick loves chickens. I want to pet chickens so bad. And there's Priscilla, or Pigmella, sitting on a pillow with a rattle. With some funny hat, funny hat on. As Pigmella grew older, she grew smarter and beautiful, and was admired by everyone she met. As Priscilla grew older, she grew not so smart, not so beautiful, and was avoided by everyone she met. That's her cupcake. Look how pretty! Wow. Yeah, she is a cupcake. Yeah, I'll show them. Here she is, there's Pigmella or Priscilla. And then look at Pigmella or Princess Priscilla eating books. And look, she's getting makeup put on. She looks like she hates it. Let me see. And everybody's running away from her. Let me see makeup. Then one day, the farmer's wife overheard that some castle servants were talking about a princess who turned into a pig. It's just like what happened to Pigmella, she told her husband, only the other way around. The farmer was so guessed, he said, he, so farmer guessed what happened. The princess and the pig must have swapped places somehow, he explained. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books, just as the king said. Do you think that they're going to give um, Priscilla back? Because they you have her as a daughter now. I wonder. Let's keep reading. The poor farmer and his wife were very unhappy. They loved Pigmella, but they knew they must return her to her rightful home. And it looks like Pigmella or Priscilla was really happy. Look at her swinging in with the cat. Look how sad they are. I wonder what's going to happen. What do you think is going to happen, Abby? Um. Pigmella was also unhappy. She loved the farmer and his wife and did not want to live anywhere else. But they were an honest family. So the next day, they all went to the castle to see the king and queen. And the king and queen listened to the farmer's story. There they are in front of the king and queen. But they didn't believe it. What nonsense, cried the queen. Ridiculous, the king laughed. This girl may be smart and beautiful, but she does not look or speak like a real princess. The queen thought she knew what was happening. It's a trick, she declared. This girl is just, is just a farmer's daughter pretending to be a princess so she can marry a prince. It's this sort of thing that always happens in books. There's uh, Pigmella and Priscilla looking at each other like, yo, what's happening here? And then the queen's like, it happens all the time in books, y'all. And so Pigmella returned home with, her, with a farmer and his wife, where she married a young shepherd and lived happily ever after, and never once wished she had been a princess. Look how happy. And Priscilla also got married to a handsome prince. 
although he had to be talked into it. Priscilla was changed into a pig by a bad fairy, the king explained. But once you kiss her, the spell will be broken and she'll turn back into a beautiful princess, added the queen. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. And they're holding up the frog prince, because that's what happened in the frog prince. Can we see the frog prince? That prince is going to be mad when he finds out she doesn't turn into a princess. And this is not the sort of thing that happens in this particular book. <laughs> you can see she has kiss marks. He has kiss marks all over her face, and she has kiss marks. And uh, she's still a pig. I like the book. I think it's really funny. So remember, in Class Dojo, on Twitter, or here on YouTube, comment. Tell me what the setting is, where and when. It's a very easy question because it did say it in the book. Um, where and when. And then tell me, would you rather be um, Pigmella or Pris Priscilla? Like, would you rather be the pig or the prince or the princess that lived not like a princess anymore? Um, I really like this story. Hope y'all liked it too. I'll be on the lookout for uh, the next two. Um, I'll be recording them later on today after I get back. Say bye. Bye. Love y'all.